Hello and welcome back to another Cookie Tech video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you on how you can make your very own ranking module inside of Roblox, which will allow you to create custom apps and scripts that will link to the Roblox API. So before we get started, you need to make sure that you already have followed part 1 of this tutorial. If you don't know where part 1 is, I'll be leaving a link to that in the description down below. Once you're ready and everything is set up, we now need to download the Rank Gun module. So to download this, I'm going to leave a link to the docs in the description down below, but I already have them open, so that's docs.rankgun.works. And as you can see, it says this module is simple to use. Download it here, and then on where it says here, just click on this, and it'll take you over to the Cookie Tech forms, where there's a nice download link, just click on file, and then once you're ready, just click on open file, and we can open it inside of Roblox. Okay, so here we are inside of Roblox Studio, and if you have a good look inside of Service Script, okay, and if you have a good look inside of Service Script Service, you can see there's going to be a folder called Rangon Module, and then inside of there, there's going to be a folder called Main. If you want to copy this into your existing games, you just need to right-click on this folder, click on Copy and then make sure you paste it into service group service. It's very important that you paste it only in service group service. Don't put it in replicated storage or inside of started UI. This is because hackers could look into the code and steal your credentials. So now that you have the package installed, we're going to need to import the module. So we can create a brand new script inside of service script service and let's simply call this rank gone Anchor, for example. And now we need to start off by importing or requiring the module as we do in Lua. So what we're going to do is we're going to say local rank on equals and then require script.parent.rankonmodule.main. Now what we're going to do is we're going to require all of the functions that are inside of main and then we can get started using it. Okay, so at the moment, RankGon doesn't know our credentials, so it can't rank anyone in the group. Luckily, if you followed the first part of this tutorial, if you head over to Discord and run slash free configure, wait for that to load, and then we have to look at credentials, we can copy our username, and what we're going to do is we're going to say RankGon dot set details. Now first things first, we're going to paste it in our username. Remember, if you're on free, you don't put your username inside of the double quotations, so we're just going to leave it as an integer. Then we're going to put a comma. This time we're going to make it a string, so we're going to put our speech marks. Now we're going to head back, and we're going to copy the password. And finally, if you're on free, you're just going to put the speech marks again, and you're going to say free. But if you're on elite, you're going to put elite. Well, as most of you will most likely be on a free account, just put a 3. And I accidentally put a double E there. And now we're ready to get started. Okay, so there are quite a few functions inside of this module. There's the promote function, the demote function, and the set rank, and the set rank function. First things first, we're going to say rank on dot promote. As you can see, we need to pass over some parameters. So we need to pass over a subject ID, and this is the ID of the player we want to be ranking. So let's make a script that will rank someone inside of our game. So let's head over to roblox.com, let's wait for that to load, then click on the three lines, head over to groups, and let's just use the cool cookie club as an example, so let's head over there. Then let's click on configure group. Keep in mind guys, this is a dormant group, so don't join it really. And let's just pick out this random user, same thing, open link in new tab, let's copy his user ID, and then let's paste it inside of promote. Now when we run this code, it should promote the user ID. So if you're inside a game, and you get the player object for example, you can always say player.userid, however I don't have that at the moment, so I'm just going to hard code the user ID. Now keep in mind, to call the rank on API, you need to have HTTP services enabled. And to have HTTP services enabled, you need to have 
published game. So right now, let me publish the game. I can do that with Alt-P. And we're going to publish game. So let's just call this rank gone ranking test. We don't need team create to be on. And then let's create it. So now let's wait for that to load. Okay, so now the game's published. We can close this. Let's head to home and then click on game settings. And if you have a look at security, HTTP requests must be set to green. If yours are not enabled, you can just activate this toggle and then click save. However, I already have it enabled so I can just close out of here. And now we're going to run a test by clicking on the play button. So let's give it a second. And hopefully if all goes well, the user should be promoted. And there we go. The code should have executed. Let's press F9. Looks like there are no errors. And then fingers crossed, if we head back to our group, everything should be working. Yep, as you can see, the user was promoted from cookie fan to super cookie fan. Now, let's try using the demote function this time. So let's wait for that to load back in. Let's say demote. And I'm actually going to show you quite a cool feature. If you go back and you say print, and then you open it, and then let's just make sure there. If we print this function, it's going to still run the function, but it's actually going to print the output of the function. So let's make sure everything is saved. And then let's click play again. As you can see, let's have a look in the output. And this time, if we have a look inside of, let's just use logs for this example. We can see true. And true returns that the user has been promoted. If it returns false, it means there was an issue promoting the user. So finally, we're going to use the set rank function. Now we're actually going to use some logic here to utilize this feature. So let's say if this equals equals true then print the rank was successful but let's say else if it returns false or something else there was an issue ranking the user so we're going to say set rank and then we're going to keep our user id here but as well as passing a user id we also need to pass a rank so let's remove this and now, as you can see, if we head over to roles, we have all of our ranks here. If you don't know how to use minimum ranks or understand the group system at all, I'll leave a video to that. You will see that coming up in the top right of your screen right now. So let's say I want to promote this user to developer. So let's copy three. And then let's put three here. Well, we're just going to change up our code a little bit. And instead of putting three, I'm going to put a rank that doesn't exist. And let's save everything and let's try ranking it and hopefully if our logic works it should say there was an issue ranking the user and then if we change that back to free hopefully everything should work so let's save and then let's click play again and great it looks like our logic works so it returns an error and it also says there was an issue trying to rank so it warns us inside of the output. Now finally, let's try setting this to 3. I will definitely recommend using a P call if you want everything to work without getting an error, as that is what most developers use, it's also a very efficient method. But let's try using the rank 3, and hopefully we should get this rank was successful printed out inside of the output. Okay, so it's loading right now, hopefully it's going to execute that script. And as you can see, the rank was successful. And now let's just have a look over in our audit log. And as you can see, Sames was changed from cookie fan to developer. And now I'm going to manually demote the user. So give me a second, members, same, and down to cookie fan. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any issues, I would recommend reaching out to rank on support. They're super friendly and helpful. And if you enjoy talking about Roblox, Roblox development, or you have any scripting support issues, head to our forums, forums.thecookie.dev, you can chat with the rest of the community there. That's all from me, thank you for tuning in, and bye bye